right, time to take a look at the V4 motorcycle ramp. Okay, so I do like that they got extra thick cardboard there on the ends to make sure that it is protected during shipping. And I also like to see that I can actually lift this thing one-handed. So this is a nice light motorcycle ramp. So it's all aluminum. This one is designed for 750 pounds. So we got instructions, we got gloves. Oh, we have some reflective tape on here. And we have a strap. Now this can be very important because whenever you're loading something up, because this is a folding ramp, this is gonna help to make sure that it is secure, especially if you got something with a lot of power on it. If you've ever loaded anything with a ramp, you get the motorcycle most of the way up, but the back tire's still on. If you have to gun that thing, it will shoot the ramp out. So this strap is a very important thing that you wanna use if you wanna be safe. And you do wanna be safe. Nice. So I do like that it stiffens up quite a bit as you put pressure on it, but it also has a full stop on that hinge so you don't have to worry about it bending under whenever you're loading something onto it. Now again, like I said, this is 750 pounds, so that's gonna be good for something like a sport bike. You don't wanna be loading a really heavy motorcycle with this. Like they do make motorcycles that weigh over a thousand pounds. V4 does make stronger ramps for that purpose, but this one is just extra convenient just because it folds up, it's super light, and if all you're gonna be doing is light jobs, then this is gonna be the ramp that you want for that. Now one very important thing that I'm noticing, I can see everywhere that they got full welds going all the way down. So this is not spot welds this isn't even like one inch welds they welded the entire thing so this as far as a light ramp goes this is about the strongest ramp that you're going to find and all these crossbars are welded in all three spots they're also welded in alternative locations so it's on the bottom here top here bottom here we also have nice thick structure on here this is about a half inch bar on here so this is pretty heavy duty stuff and these are spaced about three and a half inches apart so even if you have a small tire like a moped or something like that you're still gonna be able to roll it up this ramp the total width is a little bit over 11 inches it's about 11 and 3 8 and there are some kind of guide rails they're not super deep they're about a half inch deep so you know if that matters to you they are there now the really nice thing about this one because it folds in two you can actually make this thing really long which is what this is now there are some fingers here on the top but that's not really gonna add to the length but basically from the floor to the the top of the ramp is about 86 inches so seven feet two inches so you'll find a lot of ramps are super steep just because they're super short with this thing being seven feet long you're gonna be able to get a nice long approach angle so you're not gonna have to worry about like dragging anything onto the ground or maybe even flipping over backwards if you overpower it so a long ramp is a very important thing having something you can fold up that's super light this is a fantastic ramp they also put this nice long strip of reflective tape in here. So this is kind of cool, especially if you're going to be loading something during the night. Put a strip here, put a strip on the base. That way we're going to know exactly where that ramp is if it's really difficult to see. Now, if we flip this guy over, yeah, we are welded just as well on the back side as we are on the top. We got a thick plate here on the bottom to reinforce the base, so that's important. And these fingers, they are rubber coated, so you don't have to worry about scratching up your truck. And we're looking at about three and three quarters inch long. That's kind of cool. They actually drilled drainage holes in here, so even if you get water inside it, it's gonna have a place to go. So if you're throwing this thing in the back of your truck, you don't have to worry about it being full of water. So yeah, that looks like a fantastic ramp. I'm gonna go play with that. What do y'all think? Yeah. <laughs> That's a heavy duty wrap. I go with that. <laughs>